highway and traffic engineering. Building roads and road networks, highway and traffic engineering is an applied science that thrives on research and development. The scope of the study combines both theoretical and practical concepts as requisite that enable efficient, effective, and impactful outputs from which society may benefit. Highway Engineering Highway engineering is a branch of transportation engineering, which itself is a branch of civil engineering. It deals with the process of construction and maintenance of roads from small rural towns to highly urbanized metropolises. It concerns itself with the factors affecting its design, how and from what is it built, and how its lifespan and serviceability can be prolonged. Traffic Engineering Traffic engineering is also a branch of transportation engineering which deals with the research and construction of infrastructure necessary for the control and regulation of movement on roads. Due to its nature of being dependent on research and changing statistical data, the study is always dynamic in terms of principles used, applied in an ever-changing world with a growing demand in road highways that can accommodate high volumes of traffic. Importance of Transportation Transportation does not only entail the relocation of individuals to different locations, but it also entails the mobility, means, and accessibility of goods, products, and services. Economic Growth and Social Benefits In a macroeconomic perspective, transportation allows the economic market to flourish by alleviating spatially induced industrial issues. By moving goods from one source location to another location, transportation provides the link for a company to its supplier and customers. Furthermore, this also allows companies with very distant production facilities to expand their reach and access distant markets, thus allowing more avenues for competition and driving up market forces, and this is more evident in the form of international trade. Social Cost Though transportation is a cornerstone of modern-day human living, it is fallible and has several social issues. The most prominent social cost brought upon by broad integration of transportation is its environmental impact. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, transportation was the leading factor of the U.S. greenhouse gas emission, with it composing up to 28.2% of the total greenhouse gas emission last 2018 only slightly surpassing the emission due to its electrical production of 26.9%. Furthermore, road construction to support vehicular transport also bring forth detrimental environmental effects. These include soil erosion, disturbance of natural flora and fauna, the emission of harmful chemicals, infiltration of harmful gases and chemicals into the ground, increased threat of global climate change, and the production of significant amount of construction waste state of transportation in the Philippines. Philippines is an archipelagic nation located in Southeast Asia. The nation has already adopted numerous types of transportation. Currently, the most popular form of public transportation is the jeepney, and currently holds the largest percentage of public land vehicle use at 39% share of person trips, followed by tricycle mode of transportation at 32.8%, buses at 13.6%, train at 8.6%, pedicabs at 3.6%, and others at 2.4%. Furthermore, on average, average medium to long route class jeepneys travels around 98 to 110 kilometers per day, while consuming an average of 20.6 liters of fuel per day. However, the state of Philippine road transport system is deemed unhealthy, unsafe, and unreliable. Different modes of transportation Transportation has progressed from transversing land to later include travel across water and eventually through sky. In the Philippines, this has developed through the years to overcome the challenges brought about by its archipelagic nature by integrating various modes of transit into a diverse transportation system. Despite its geographical organization, the main mode of transportation in the Philippines is through roadways. The mode of transportation within the Philippines can be broken down into three main components air transportation, water transportation, and land transportation. Public transportation. Public transportation or mass transit describes the mode of transportation intended to move a group of people 
with greater efficiency and lower cost than private transportation. Following this definition, it includes vehicles such as pump boats, trains, public utility vehicles, and buses. Current state of public utility jeeps. Of 180,000 PUJs operating over the Philippines, 90% are at least 15 years old. This 16-seater is responsible for 17% of ambient air pollution in Metro Manila and as much as 80 other cities. This poor maintenance of PUJs can be attributed to high percentage of single-owner operators, most of which are unable to earn the necessary income to maintain their vehicles. Among these are two offices handling transportation rules and regulation and development of the country. and LTO or the Land Transportation Office. What is highway transportation? A highway transportation system is made up of roadways, vehicles, and the road users. This amalgamation was developed to provide a more efficient, economical, and safe means of hauling people and goods. As of 1988, 26,000 of 157,000 kilometers of road were designed as national roads, less than 50% of which are designed for all types of weather. By 2004, the summative length of the Philippine road network was reported to be 202,860 kilometers exclusive of tall roads. By 2017, the Philippine National Highway System had roughly 32,868 kilometers of national roads connecting major cities and roadways. Due to its insufficient research and development, the system is only increased by about 1-2% to each year. Railroad System Within Metro Manila, four railway systems are operating as of writing. The Light Rail Transit System, or LRT Lines 1 and 2, the Metro Rail Transit 3, or MRT, and the Philippine National Railway's Orange Line, or PNR. Issues of HTS in the Philippines The main issue of transportation systems are the lack of master plan and proper implementation of the government projects and processes regarding transport sector. These issues compound and manifest in the form of traffic congestion, limited accessibility, and poor maintained roadways. The study of transportation engineering, more specifically, highway and road engineering, is indeed highly relevant in a globalized world where interdependence between two or more economic centers, domestic or abroad, are essentially in maintaining continuity. The scientific method is relevant as to create structures suitable for given conditions to maximize cost and operational efficiency, efficacy, and provide a substantial societal impact. But one question that remains unanswered is, will the Philippines be able to improve its transportation system?